welcome to the Hales Be Handmade Knitting Podcast. Uh, I'm Haley. I'm the dyer and maker behind Hales Be Handmade on Etsy. You can also find me on Instagram as Hales Be Handmade. I do have a blog, HalesBeHandmade.com. That's where you will find the show notes for this episode. Um, what else? Ravelry, I'm Hales B. Facebook, I do have a Hales Be Handmade Facebook page. I do have a Twitter, but it mostly is my Instagram feed. So that's where you can find me on all the places, and I'll have that in the down bar with the show notes. I'm going to try my best to record today, despite having someone who needs some attention. This is Leo. Okay. So I'm wearing my flax sweater by Tin Can Knits, which... This is what happens when you don't swatch. I can't stand up because I have a dog in my lap. But it did end up a little oversized. And my neckline did end up a bit flash dance. A bit 80s. That's okay. The 80s is a style that works, right? I don't know. Don't be offended by how much skin I'm showing when this starts to fall off. I'm wearing a tank top under it, Mom. Calm down. Okay, so anyway, so that's a finished object that I, I don't have a whole lot to show because I did spend a lot of time working on the sweater in the last couple of weeks. And this is in my Brewing Wolf Spain colorway on a worsted weight. I don't have any worsted in the shop right now in this colorway, but I do have it on my sock yarn. I'm also wearing this. I'm in North Carolina is where I'm coming to you from, and... It's not worsted sweater weather at the moment. So I'm going to get a little toasty, but this will be short anyway, so it'll be okay. So the other finished object besides my sweater that I have, I finally have some socks. So these I've been working on for a couple of weeks. I showed some of my progress last time. And these are in my... The orange and yellow speckly colorway is my Always Carry Antidote colorway. And then the green heels, toes, and cuffs is my Pick Your Poison colorway. And this is on my Twistlebee sock base, which is a high twist. Um, it's a superwash highland wool and polyamide, which is similar to nylon. So these I finally finished. They're not washed and on blockers. I just put them on blockers to show them. I am going to give these to a neighbor friend of mine because I have tiny feet and loose gauge and I'm sometimes still trying to figure out how to make that work. They ended up just a tiny bit too big or a tiny bit more loose than I would have liked them. Um, but my neighbor gal has just the right size feet to be able to wear them. So she will get them and that's fine. So that's the finished objects I have is my sweater and my socks. I haven't really been able to work on as much as I would have liked because I have been dyeing yarn. I'll talk about that a little later. Um, but I did start and I'm super proud of myself. So my friend Deborah, hi Deborah, uh, has convinced me to try two at a time socks so that I don't have second sock syndrome, which I generally tend to have. And Leo, can you please, one moment while we move the dog. Okay, sit down. You're okay. There we go. So I do have two socks on the go. I'm so excited. So I'm doing this magic loop on one circular needle, and these are my 40-inch Addy Turbo Sock Rockets. This is super bright yellow. So this is one of my minis that I just dyed up, this yellow. Project Icarus, and it's so bright. Um, but then this yarn, I don't have a whole lot of them started. I just have the nubbins so far. Um, but this is my, not mine, but this is Biscotti Yarns and the Wonka colorway self-striping, which I got when I went to the Knit Night at Warm and Fuzzy and Carrie. This is one of the self-striping, oh, that's bright. Lots of fun bright colors. So I'm excited. 
to get these knit up and I'm super excited to have two socks done at once and to not finish one and feel like I don't want to do the other one. And I'm actually enjoying the two at a time technique right now. I've got my little cheese progress keeper from my wine lovers progress keeper set in my shop. And these are being housed in my bag by Nanette Wake. And I was at Downtown Knits in Apex for a knit night. And everyone loved my bag, Nanette. They were all super impressed with it. So hopefully I'll get some people to come check out your shop. So those are my two at a time socks. And I'm excited to be trying that new technique and be able to um, figure out. I'm going to try to do the, is it a true afterthought heel where you actually cut in to the sock? I'm going to try that. I think the Kirby Worby is the um, is the video a lot of people talk about for that, so I'm going to give that a try. I've done steaking. I've cut my yarn, my knitting before, so I think I can do it. I think it'll be okay. Anyway, uh, let's see. I've shown this a couple of times, my Touchstone Shawl by Laura Ayler. I've made some progress. Not a whole lot. Where's my progress keeper? I'll take my little needle keeper off of it. My knit for brains needle keeper. So you can see there's my progress keeper. Also my progress keeper. It's a little gumball machine with little hearts. But that's where I was last time and I've gotten the lace, the next lace section without losing my stitches. The next lace section done. And so I'm working on the next garter section. And this is all my hand dyed yarn also. This is my Chateau de Blue colorway. And it's got some blues and browns and yellowy oranges. And then of course my coffee and pie, oh my. And my remnants colorway. I'm thinking I'll probably have to once I get past the garter section over here, I may have to go back to this color. I don't know that I have enough yardage to do the rest of it in the Chateau de Blue. We'll see. It doesn't matter. It's my shawl. I can do what I want, right? I can switch colors whenever I feel like it. So I will. But that's the progress I've made on that so far. So... Hopefully I will have it done next time so that you don't have to get tired of me showing progress on the same shawl. And that one is in my Knit for Brains Fall Foxes bag. The only other thing that I think I have, I do have a swatch. I'm going to wash it and block it first before I, oh. sweater's falling off. Swatch before you knit sweaters, everybody. I didn't, and that's what I You know what? I like it. It's oversized and comfy. I will wear it. Just don't be upset that it's fallen off of me. The only other thing I'm really working on is the Serenity Now shawl, the craftsy kit that I had gotten. And I really have only gotten to a point where I just started doing the color. Sorry, Leo. So this is the first color with the slip stitches. So I've only got a little tiny bit done. There's my other progress keeper, my wine, from my wine lovers. A little wine and wine glass. It's still the morning, so I can't just go get wine and cheese, even though seeing those progress keepers always makes me want wine and cheese. And that one is in my Crochet One Knit Two bag, Bella, that I think I've shown before too. I don't have a whole lot of new stuff to show you, but I still wanted to post a podcast and talk to you guys and say hi, because I am enjoying doing this, and I hope everyone else is enjoying watching. So that's all I've really got for knitting that I've been working on. Again, I've been busy dyeing yarn and figuring out minis. Minis take forever to wind. 
fair warning. So a lot of, I don't know if you can see them all behind my dress form. That's my mini cubby. All kinds of minis. Um, so I was just going to show a couple of those. So for those of you who are only here for knitting, sorry, I don't have a whole lot of it. And I'm going to show off my stuff. Um, I was also going to show some of my acquisitions. So I'll do that first and then I can show off my little minis. So I do have the Knit Crate Artisan Crate. And I did just get the April, the month of April for Knit Crate. The Golden Hour is the theme, which takes me back to film school. Um, they're both knit. There's a Breakwave Shawl by Kiri Fitzgerald, and there's, what is that? Simple Lines Scarf. I'll be honest, I'm not a scarf knitter. I don't want to do a flat knit scarf, so maybe I'll do the shawl. Um, it's this really nice Erin Waite by Ba Ram Yu. They're Dovestone. It's this nice chocolatey color. But I feel like it's more of a fall color, so I think I will probably hang on to this and wait to do a shawl on this one. Again, I am in North Carolina and it is getting warm, so I don't need a worsted weight shawl at the moment. Um, so yeah. But it is lovely yarn, and I am excited to use it, even though it is going to be in the fall. Those here. The only other acquisitions I had, I have a couple of skeins, but I'll just show these two because I had caked up some of them. I got these at Warm and Fuzzy also in Cary when I went to Knit Night. This is Manos del Uruguay Serena. It's a baby alpaca and pima cotton. And I'm going to put these two colors together. I'm going to do my best to design a t-shirt for the summer. Um, it's a fingering weight and it's got that cotton in it. So I think it'll be breathable and, and light enough that I can wear it in the summer. In the heat. Um, I just love these yellow and blue together. Or yellow, yeah. Makes me think of like robin's eggs and daisies. Very summery. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to do my best. I have a whole idea in mind of what the t-shirt should look like. We'll find out if I can do it. I'm working on a swatch right now. Since I learned my lesson with this one, that swatching is good for you. Um, so we'll see. I'm going to work on that. But that's all of my acquisitions, really. Um, not for lack of wanting to buy yarn, but I'm trying to be good. It's hard. It's hard to be good. And then I dye up my own pretty yarn. Anyway. So, I do have some new minis. I did do... I had done previously an Instagram Live where I showed off some of my minis. Uh, but I did dye up a couple of new colorways. I have two of those to find them. Okay. So we have, this one is, looks like my Alpha Michelle, Elfie's Emeralds. And so it's this really rich, it's kind of like a yellowy teal green. It's a very sort of bright emerald green. And this one is Music Box Pirouettes. I don't know if that's showing very well. This one is like a baby pink color. And it made me think of like ballerinas in a music box. So that's why Music Box Pirouettes. And this one, Shield Your Eyes. This is super, super bright orange. This is called Fair Warning. Fair warning, this will sear your retinas. It's blowing out a little bit because of the light, but it's very, very... I don't know if I can get this to show. Oh, there it is. Very bright orange. And then sort of like a denim navy blue. This one's called Waiting for Midnight. And so these are some of my new minis, colorways, and I did also do some of my Pick Your Poison colorway, which is an acidy green with yellow speckles. 
So those are some of my new minis that I have available in the shop that I think go well with some of my new colorways. The other minis that I had shown on Instagram, I have another Syria Retinas. That's the one that I'm using with my socks that I showed. Ooh, very, very bright yellow. This one is Project Icarus. And then I had this Giddy Teal. I like this like rich blue teal color. And then I have Aquarius. And to be frank, because this purpley pink makes me think of Lisa Frank. And hold on. And then I did have just a, my blindfold colorway, which is like a gray color, a medium gray. This is my Cardinal Stew colorway, which is like a cherry red. There we go. With some black and yellow and orange speckles. I just dropped one. And this is Floozy. Super bright. There we go. Like fuchsia, pink, hot pink colorway. So, check out my shop. Get some minis. Because they're cute and fun and they take so much time to wind up. For just, you would think that something so tiny wouldn't be so labor intensive. But they totally are. Um, and then the other couple colorways. These are some new ones in the shop. This is my effervescent elixir colorway. It's got like bright aqua and bright orange and some teal and yellow speckles. I like it with this one. I don't know if I can get very bright in here. But you could also do it with the orange that complements. Oops, sorry Leo. Dropping yarn on Leo. He's okay with it. He's a sport. And then this is my Proximity to the Sun colorway. That's a new colorway in the shop. It's this bright orange and then this corally orange. And it's got aqua and red speckles. I love this one. I think this one's a lot of fun. And I think this one goes well. I like the teal color with it. That's my personal favorite. But you can go on my Instagram, and I did post a bunch of pictures, and I have some more pictures that I'll be putting up of the minis paired with different skeins, so you can see how they look together. Um, I'm trying to think. Somebody else, I don't remember if they like the aqua with this one. I can't remember. Maybe they like the pink, which is on Leo. That one's fun. I like the pink. But anyway... So those are some of the new colorways and new minis that I have in the shop. And then this was my Brewing Wolf Spain, which is this is how this knits up. So this is my sweater, and this is on a sock yarn. Brewing Wolf Spain, which I like. This one. With the pink. I think those are fun. I like the contrasting colors. So I think that one's a fun set if you'd like to try my Elphaba shawl which is on Ravelry available now um, which is why I started doing some of the minis because I felt like I wanted to make a couple more of these shawls for myself in some of my own yarn just for fun so anyway I think that's about all that I have for you today not a whole lot. Like I said, I've spent a lot of time dyeing yarn and I spent a lot of time knitting on this sweater. So I'm finishing those socks. So hopefully next time I will have that touchstone shawl done and hopefully next time I will have a swatch at least to show you so you can kind of see a little bit of what I want to do with my t-shirt design. If anyone knows someone who does, might be able to help me with like sizing for a t-shirt or putting that garment pattern together because I haven't done a garment pattern yet. Do comment. Let me know. If you're someone who does that, comment and let me know. I would appreciate it. Um, but anyway, hopefully next time I'll have a little bit more to show you in the way of knitting. Um, I might try to do some cross stitch and some embroidery too. Otherwise, thanks for spending some time with me today. Thanks for ignoring my flash dance neckline here. And I hope everybody has a great weekend, and it's full of knitting. 
Love from Halesby. Bye.